What's up, everybody? I told you guys I was going to do a Q&A. A Q&A on a lot of the stuff that's, um... People are commenting. Unfortunately, I can't... I can't do a Q&A and read all of the messages. Especially, you know, the ones where they're agreeing because it just looks on my part like I'm only reading the ones that agree with me. And I'm not looking for people to agree with me. I'm just looking for people to think on a rational, on a rational, you know, level, mindset. So I'm going to read some comments and then give an answer to them that I thought were, um, below average on the rational scale. Okay. So we have... Let's see. Well, this person said it's uh, Joanne Bailey. Well said. It's the glory seekers at their worst, and that's that's actually a good word for it. I like that glory seekers. You know, they're people that um that portray themselves as as wanting to make a big difference in the world, and yet they're just choosing one topic to get involved with. That's that's. It pretty much boils down to this. All the people that are running around saying, you can't make money off, off talking about this particular case, you're doing the Ruzaks wrong by talking about this case, and you're doing this by talking about this case, and what they're doing is exactly that. They're doing it for clicks, but they're doing it in a way that doesn't look so obvious because they're playing the hero role. Here, I'm going to do this for clicks and monetize videos and make money off the case, only I'm going to do it and portray myself as a fucking hero because I'm allegedly sticking up for somebody. That would be like... That would be like Bradenton, Florida trying to take on the entire United States of America. It just, it's not possible. So, let's see here. What about the abundance of information we are getting fed on the case on the internet? What, we are not allowed to talk about it? Like, come on. We do care about the family, and Shanann was a media person as well. She was quite well known. The face in the case is very media involved, and no one stopped anyone saying anything. Okay, those are apples and oranges. Now that was posted by Lucky Can. Can, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. You're comparing apples to oranges. Shanann, Shanann was a social media person. She did a lot on social media. Now, I had an opinion on that in the very beginning, and then I did research and I corrected myself later. Her social media was dedicated to her, her job. Everything she did was to make money. And what she was doing for a living was an extremely hard, time-consuming job that you really had to hustle to be successful at, and she was successful at it. Well, that's the reason she was successful out of it, because you're going to get out of something which you put into it. And she put all she had into it, you know, to provide a living. So, as far as stuff being thrown at you, you know, people can throw a baseball at me, but it's up to me if I put a mitt on and catch the ball. So, you can't really use that as an excuse. You know, things are going to pop up in your feed. It's up to you if you take the bait and click on it. Okay, now this person, Pam Random, let it go. No, I'm not. I've never made a video on this topic before. I've never stated my opinion on this topic before. 
And the only reason I'm stating my opinion on the topic now is because it seems, even on my videos, the topic is being pulled up. Even on videos that it has nothing to do with, the topic is coming up and people are mentioning, you know, how wrong everyone's doing the Ruzak family. So, no, I'm not going to let it go. I, I made the video because I have every right to add my two cents in on the topic. Okay. Susan Smith. You, right. But, they, should, stop. Not, to, not, good, to, talk about the dead. Okay. Just because something's good doesn't mean doesn't mean it's bad to talk about it. Okay? People are talking about it. You know, you have you have good intentions and you have bad intentions. But the reality end of it is, like I said earlier in this video, it's we're living in the digital age. You know, You've got conspiracy theories floating around about the Philadelphia experiment, and there's still survivors from the Philadelphia experiment alive, and they're not they're not putting up a fight about it, and you know they're just kind of going with the flow. You have Ted Bundy, who murdered. I don't even know how many innocent children, raped and murdered innocent children, and people are still talking about him and making documentaries about him, and some of these children's parents are still you know alive today. And you don't see half of the buzz coming from these people. You don't see any of the buzz coming from these people saying, listen, let it go. We're tired of hearing about it. Yada, yada. So we live in a digital age. This is what the digital age is all about. Things just don't go away like they do when they're on, you know, in print and then stuck away in a file cabinet. These are just kind of in your face. And you as a personal, as an individual, have to make the personal choice whether you're going to engage or not engage. Okay, Rain, Rihanna, 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 I don't know. <clears throat> R E I N E. I said this on Photograph Free Today channel just a few days ago. It's like some people just don't want to move on. I mean, I was as deep into it as everyone else at one point. But geez, it's a year later. Seems like this point, all at this point, all they're doing is keeping the Watts drama alive. Seriously, let them rest in peace. To that, I'm gonna say this: when you're talking and you're saying that, it's like you're saying that to yourself, to the entire world. You, you can't control social media. That's first off. Second off, Photograph Free Today is a bullshit channel that I do not watch i do not choose to engage in all that bullshit drama because it's just it's just another filthy disgusting channel devoted to harassing bullying and trying to intimidate smaller youtubers so i make the personal decision to not click on it and engage in it now my video title had the ruzak name in it and you clicked on it you made a comment on photograph free today I'm assuming the video had something to do with the same thing, which means you're making the personal decision to click on videos that, that are about this particular topic. So in one hand, you're saying people need to let it go, and at the same time, you know, you're doing the complete opposite, and you're engaging in the very topics that you think people should let go. So, I don't know. Okay, this was this was an interesting one. Deb, Deb's rich. If I was grieving, as Frank Senior stated on TV, then the last thing on my mind would be going on social media. Bearing in mind, he stated that he didn't do social media. Well, not quite true, though, is it? Let alone 
be moderating for vigilant hate channels. Now, I don't know for sure if he's if he's moderating for vigilant hate channels, but if he is, then then you know. And, and one hand, I kind of have mixed feelings about that. Nobody really seen him on social media for the first year, so getting involved with it now, you know, for Frank Senior, very well could just be a coping mechanism. We all cope in different ways, you know. No parent should have to bury their child, let alone their child and grandchildren. That's two generations of your seed that you put on earth, you know, to carry on your name and to carry on, you know, your bloodline that the poor fellow lost. So he's probably just grieving with it in the only way he knows how. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think he has enough knowledge in what channels to get involved with. So... He's getting involved with, with extremely, extremely hateful, psychologically fucked up people. And, okay, I have to go back to that because a notification popped up. He's getting involved in extremely mean, hateful people that, that are using his name for clicks and for you know, moderating videos and for doing live feeds and getting paid while they're bashing other people for doing the exact same thing. So what you have is a hypocrite who's being hypocritical in a way that they're actually using, they're, they're using and manipulating, you know, the victims in this situation to justify doing exactly what it is that they're claiming that they're fighting against. So, yes, I think... Frank Sr. might just be coping with this the only way he knows how, but at the same time, I think he needs to be a little bit more cautious about what he himself entertains. If people are going to him and throwing all this information at him, look what this channel did, look what this channel did, look what this channel did, think about the mindset behind those people. You're taking a grieving father and a grieving grandfather, and it's like you're saying, hey, look what's going on here. Hey, look at this. He would have never been none the wiser. To him, it would have just been nothing more than than social media being social media, and what you have is antagonistic, sadistic-minded people, saddest, sadist, that love to see other people suffer. So what other reason would somebody have to point out all of the shit being said about somebody's family if they didn't get a personal rise out of the individual's reaction that lost his family? So these people are very sick-minded motherfuckers, and they're getting off they're getting off on watching Frank Ruzak get upset over the death of his family. Again, Frank Ruzak needs to be a little bit more careful about who he chooses to engage with on social media if that turns out to be the case. People are sending them stuff. I just addressed that. Okay, Chris D says, what are you doing alive, Ken? I don't want to miss it. The cat keeps putting in his two cents. He's like, yeah. Um, actually, I, was, I bought a mic. I was going to start doing lives, like, almost immediately. A little Walmart mic that plugs in with the USB port should work a lot better than that big dilapidated mic I bought. But when I logged into the computer, it, it, it's, it's not normal, and my brain doesn't really comprehend the software to it. Not to mention this particular computer is a cheap computer and it's like every time I turn it off, I go to get back on and all of my settings have been erased and I got to redo everything and reprogram YouTube and everything else. So um, eventually when I have the money for a decent tablet that just kind of runs on everything Google, which is what my brain processes and comprehends, um, then I'll plug in the mic and I'll start doing lives and... You know, I have kind of a, I have a tablet now, but the picture quality is bullshit, and I do everything cheap. You know, I'm a thrift shopper, but the, the few things that I will never go cheap on is phone because I'm a huge photo taker. I love capturing my family's life, every minute of their life, every smile, every everything, and I, I like professional looking photos so that I can print them out, you know, for photo albums and stuff. So phones, I never go cheap on. Computers, I'll go a little cheap on, but at the same time, I've never had a YouTube channel before. So in this particular case, I would need something that's somewhat, you know, has a lot of memory and speed. 
tablet wise I mean I, I much prefer like one of those tablet slash notes that you can attach a keyboard to because it's they're just very easy to operate everything's Google and YouTube and it, it's, it's all right there in the software and it just pops right up and it has all the same functions as like Windows 10 and shit that just my brain can't process I'm not really a tech guy I'm sort of learning as I go so um, Okay, now this is the same person. This is the same person. Pam Rendon. It said, let it go was the first message. Now this one says, leave Frank alone and drop it, okay? Now, think about, think about the psychological welfare of this person already. Now, you can state your two cents, but now in this case, wrap your mind around the person. The person on the same video said, let it go. And now, in her, in, in her warped way of thinking, I made like 20 videos on the same topic, and now she's leaving a second message, like in her mind, she's leaving a second message on a completely different video. Leave Frank alone and just drop it, okay? That's the second time she said that on the same video. So you have a psychologically defective person who is seeing things that are not really there, and she's convincing herself that that I'm making a big spectacle out of something when, in fact, this is the first time I've ever said anything about the topic. So, there's something going on there. This one, Miss Hall, I really do agree. No, I agree with you, I really do. You're exactly right in just saying it made me sad about how Frank was treated on AD's channel. That was it. Just how I felt. Frank did say when he just went on the news in Colorado that people send him stuff constantly. I don't get that either. I would never send them anything that's not okay and not how I am at all. I totally agree. Now, this is the person I read the comment to before, which is why I made this video, Miss Hall. I totally agree. And that's, and that's just it. People that are sending Frank all the time, you know, he, it, it's starting to get to him to the point where he's, he's doing press conferences and he's speaking out about it because he's allowing the negative people to, to whisper in his ear. The negative people that are using him to serve their own agenda. The negative people that are running around saying, you're bad for making this video, you're bad for talking about this, I'm going to do the same exact thing and I'm going to profit by it, but I'm going to make myself look like a hero and then I'm going to try to manipulate Frank Ruzak in the process while I get off on watching his reaction when I send him negative stuff about his deceased family. These are sadistic-minded people that Frank needs to cut out of his life, period. Frank is a grown man. I've heard him speak and he speaks very intelligently. He has the wrong people whispering in his ear. It's kind of like, it's kind of like somebody getting involved in a major ordeal, and then all of a sudden the wrong crowd starts surrounding these people for their own financial gain or to serve their own agenda. It's the exact same scenario on a smaller scale that's happening with Frank Ruzak. He was involved in a horrific situation, and people are trying to use that to their own benefit because they want to feel like they're a part of something big. Hence, the, they feel like they, they're in touch with a celebrity mentality. And what they're doing is they're taking and pouring salt on a very deep wound. And not only do they not care, they're getting off on watching the person squirm when they show them what other people are saying. Other people that would never even pop into Frank Sr.'s radar if these people weren't shoving it in their face. These people need to be booted off YouTube. Okay, a Zeti. I'm not even sure how to take this one. I'm sure at first, the Ruzaks never thought anyone would try and defend Chris Watts. Awful it all is. Please leave them alone. NK said leave Jim alone. Seems they did leave the Ruzaks alone. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I have no idea who the hell Jim is. 
where the hell does NK even come into all of this? Because nobody's talking about NK. The video wasn't about NK. And like I told the first person that made two separate comments on the same video to let it go, this is the first video I've done on it. I don't hound the Ruzaks. I don't talk about the Ruzaks. So what are you talking about? Please leave them alone. Again, that's another... That's somebody who's already creating drama in their mind. Like, something's just not right with this comment. I'm not comprehending it. Either they have an accent or, or something. Now, who the hell's sticking up for Chris Watts? First off, whether people are sticking up for Chris Watts or not, you don't see the Ruzaks running around blasting people that are sticking up for Chris Watts, which I haven't seen anybody stick up for Chris Watts. So I don't even know what the hell you're even talking about. But again, it falls into the category of people sticking shit in their face just to watch just to watch somebody squirm who's already suffering and in pain. Sadistic-minded people who get off on watching other people suffer. That's what these people are. Wow, Pam Random, Random again. Sounds like delusional armchair detective. He needs to stop his crap. What the fuck does armchair detective have anything to do with this video? First off, second off. You are another person who, who's clearly got psychological issues, and you're the one that can't let things go. You're the one that just keeps going on and on and on and on. And apart from the fact that you're going on and on about it, you're now including shit that is not even a topic or a factor anywhere in the video. So you are the person who has, has personal vendettas in your mind. So you, ma'am, are fucking blocked. Okay, so that's it for this Q&A. For all of you that agreed, and, you know, I appreciate all of your, 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 your good comments. Unfortunately, I didn't want to read that on this video because I didn't want... I didn't want to make it look like I was only, you know, reading the ones that were agreeing with me. I don't require people to agree with me. I just require that, that when you disagree, you do it in a very respectful way and you do it in a very coherent way that makes sense that I can comprehend it. The few that I read off... There was only a couple that made sense to me. The other ones were just like rambled that I can't even process in my head what the hell was going through their head when they made the comment because they make no fucking sense to me. And I'm a very simple-minded person. Like things are broke down in a very simple way for me to understand it. They have to be. That's why when I tell people things and I try to educate people on things, I do it in a very simplistic way that a, a child can even understand because that's how my brain works. So if things are being said to me and I'm not really understanding it, you know, something, I'm not understanding the reference here. Sounds like armchair, sounds like delusional armchair detective. He needs to stop his crap. Sounds to me like you're the one who's delusional and you need to stop worrying about what armchair's doing and live your own damn life. That's what I think. So that's it for this Q&A. We'll do another Q&A on um, another video tonight or tomorrow. Actually, I think this is kind of fun, and it gives everybody a chance to, well, in most cases, I wouldn't leave, I wouldn't leave people out, but it'll give everybody a chance to be heard and for their questions to be heard live. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and <laughs> good things coming. A craft last night got in front of the goggles and just sat stationary. It was almost like it was curious of me, and it just literally got right in front of the goggles, and it was just kind of hovering there. The goggles are five time mag magnification, so it's really hard to tell when you're looking through them how far away the object actually is. But whatever it was, it just sat there and hovered and stared at me. So I'll upload that video later. Guys, until later. Love you.